joined by our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian. Armin, how difficult will it be for these leaders to come to some kind of consensus when it comes to comes to energy? Well, of course, this is a much broader group than the European Union, Monty, as you said, a lot more countries involved here. But the common denominator is, of course, the war in Ukraine and the impact that that's having on energy prices, not just in the EU member states, but in the broader European neighborhood, if you will. Um, so when it comes to this idea of uh, an energy, uh, sorry, a, a gas uh, price cap, uh, this is uh, really at the heart of uh, discussions in Prague, and there have been different ideas floated on different kinds of caps. Uh, there's been quite a bit of uh, mixed messages. It's hard to actually understand what some of these caps really mean for the uh, ordinary person in Europe. So uh, there's going to have to be some kind of clear explanation at the end of this summit what all of this is going to mean for European consumers this winter. But clearly the underlying goal here is to prevent blackouts, uh, to prevent uh, uh, you know, deindustrialization, particularly for small and medium sized enterprises, uh, f f to stop them uh, essentially shutting down their production, jobs being lost, a European industry becoming uncompetitive in the global marketplace vis a vis China and other, uh, uh, other powerful players in the world. So uh, there's a lot at stake here in terms of uh, how to um, make energy supplies actually viable. A at a reasonable price in the long term and not just over this winter, though, of course, the energy crunch this winter is going to be uppermost in, in the minds of these European uh, leaders in Prague. Of course, these kinds of European organizations exist. There are several. The EU is expanding. Why do we need yet another organization? Why is President Macron doing this? Well, he wanted to set up a, a, a forum that would bring together uh, countries that are uh, that feel themselves European in one way or another, uh, or that have close political relations with the EU but have no intention of joining the European Union, or indeed other countries that have applied but have not yet become members uh, of the EU. So the idea is that there are common issues that affect this broader uh, European neighbourhood. It's not int intended to become uh, an organization like the European Union, the European political community, it doesn't have a legal identity. In that sense, it's not like the EU or the United Nations. Uh, it is a forum to exchange views. Just to give you two concrete examples, uh, Monty, where two kind of difficult dossiers did seem to have a little bit of forward movement um, through this new forum. I don't want to overstate the case, but if you look at Britain and France, for example, uh, the very, very frosty relations between the two governments, there seems to be an attempt to sort of um, create a bit of a thaw uh, that was clear in the meeting between Emmanuel Macron and, and Liz Truss. Again, I don't want to, you know, exaggerate the, the, the thaw at this stage, but clearly Clearly, this meeting in Prague and this forum, the EPC, uh, provided a backdrop for doing that. And there was also one other uh, meeting which caught my eye, which was actually quite an interesting new attempt at conflict resolution, or rather with a different, slightly different format. And that was a meeting uh, between uh, leaders of France, Turkey, Armenia and Azerbaijan in order to try to diffuse tensions in the South Caucasus, particularly between uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan. So that was uh, an interesting, I think, attempt at using this European political community uh, to try to calm tensions to some extent. Uh, no doubt there was also uh, an attempt to bring Greece and Turkey closer together, though uh, actually th there was a very fiery exchange between uh, the Turkish and Greek leaders uh, in Prague. So perhaps uh, that conflict has still some way uh, to go before a, temperature, a lower temperature can be reached. But I think that's the sort of conflict or tension that this European political community will try to address in the future. Okay, our National Affairs Editor Armin Georgian uh, joining us there.